Hey guys, what's up? Magic Bard here with a pretty sick tutorial. The cool thing about this one is it's fairly simple. It'll just take some time in terms of masking things out, rotoscoping hands, and you'll have an epic little movie magic effect you can make quickly. Um, it's even easy to shoot as well. So let's get into it and I'll show you exactly how this is done. So first things first, shoot the whole thing on a tripod, of course, and what you're going to do is basically set your tripod up at a desk that you can fit a couple of your hands on, four or five, however many you want, and you're just going to leave it there. So you're going to press record, you're going to get a plate, you know, of course you get the blank plate in there, and then just start going in there like you see me do and you're gonna start drawing your hand so one of the keys to success on this one is you can see I overexpose the image a bit and so the long sleeve shirt I'm wearing blends into the paper because it's white and it's overexposed and the paper is white as well so it's a lot easier to blend those two images the next part is make sure when you're filming this that your arm is flat against the table. That'll make things a lot easier when you start to mask out your arm and kind of fit it on the paper. So let's jump into it and kind of see this layer structure of how it all works out. So first things first, as you can see, we have our uh, plate in here and I just kind of, you know, measured it out to about 14 seconds long and that's how long this whole clip will be. So the next part is you're gonna add you or your actor in there and this is your full body and you're gonna be pretending like you're drawing a another hand alright and then what you're gonna do is layer on top of each clip the next hand as you get closer and closer to camera because the higher your clip is on your composition it will cover um, anything below it right so you want the hand that's closest to you, closest to camera, on top. So then the next, let's just check it out one by one, right? So what I did here was I laid my hand down and I masked myself out. And I did kind of this diagonal um, line down towards the paper. And it kind of, you know, helps fade the arm into the paper as I pretend to draw myself and uh, you know you'll see as I'm doing this whole drawing thing I'm drawing at the edge of the paper not in the middle because it'll be harder to make it realistic if my pen was over here in the middle you know covered up by my arm so as we go through this I'll kinda show you that you know I use the uh, pen tool right up here to mask myself out and just went on to the next hand and guys it's really as simple as that now on this one I tested things out with the roto brush and of course the roto brush will give you a better mask um, but on top of that here let's kinda open that up to show you guys what it looks like um, on top of that you're gonna have to add another uh, just use the pen tool to make another mask and kinda do that little diagonal mask in there to kind of fade it into the paper so um, the only reason why I didn't use the roto brush on all the hands is because it takes a lot of computing power so it's uh, it takes you know a longer time to edit and uh, render things out so I just wanted to do this really quickly to show you guys how to do it I would say if you want to do this properly you would do this whole effect with the uh, roto brush so um, yeah guys that's essentially the whole thing I mean as you can see just use the pen tool to mask out myself I do this kind of little slide diagonal thing in here to kind of fade in the effect and um, you know it looks pretty good and then as you you know here we go and then of course you can keyframe you can keyframe your masks to really uh, make it perfect and then to help add to the realism so it looks like someone is uh, videotaping you make sure to pre-compose this whole thing and 
add a null object and then start moving the camera around, right? And you guys already know this with my other tutorials. It, it adds a little to it. It, you know, if your camera is on a tripod for the whole, whole shot, it doesn't look quite right. If you add a little bit of this, uh, the wiggle effect, um, as you can see here on your position, it will add that little handheld look to your footage. And then what I like to do on top of the wiggle is add a null object and start to move the camera around with the uh, position and scale. So it helps with the reveal and all that stuff. It's just a little bit of detail you can always add to your shots and make things look a little more realistic. But that's it for today, guys. If this helped at all, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be having some more movie magic tutorials coming out um, weekly and um, we'll have some fun with this. So yeah, guys, you can follow me on social at Magic Bard. I post some of the behind the scenes stuff all over Instagram and Facebook. And I'd love to see what you guys end up coming up with. Maybe something a little different than what I did, but with the effect. And yeah, tag me in it. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's any effects you guys would like to learn or if you see a little movie magic trick and you're like hey magic bard um how do you how do they do this i'll you know i'll try to figure it out get out a tutorial to you guys and let you know how i would do it you know the great thing about visual effects is there is no one way to do things so we can kind of figure it out for ourselves and create some magic all right guys that's it for today i'll see you on the next one